Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.besttechinon, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, everything technology related. Today I want to do a video on Firefox. Millions of people on the web, or who browse the web, use the, uh, the browser Firefox, which is a common alternative to, the, um, to Internet Explorer, Microsoft's um, browser that's built into Windows. Also an alternative to Opera or Safari on the Mac. Um, it's very, very popular. One of the nice things about Firefox is it's is that it has what they call extensions and now extensions basically they do just what they said they extend the uh, the functionality and capabilities of Firefox they add features and functionality of things that either weren't in Firefox or improve on what on current Firefox um, functionality and features uh, I want to talk about some of the the extensions I use and uh, I want to know what you guys use as well so let's start with what I use first of all my favorite, by far, um, Firefox extension since I've been using it for a long time. Now, if you remember, Firefox didn't always have um, Session Restore. One of the uh, one of my favorite things about Firefox, it was not built into it um, in the early uh, versions. So I used a, uh, an extension called Tab Mix Plus. Tab Mix Plus is awesome. Um, it basically has built-in Session Restore. Uh, uh, crash recovery um, options. Uh, you can restore tabs. Um, you know, from the last time you were in Firefox to the previous time, and even the time before that, it's, I like that feature a lot. That you can go back almost like three times when you close Firefox, which is nice. Um, it also has a number of other options in terms of you know, instead of having to hit Control T, which is pretty common, a lot of people do that. You can actually just click a button right on the tab bar, and it adds a tab, which is one of the nice things. I, I love that. Instead of having to me to reach down if I'm using my mouse, I just hit the button, and it works perfectly. So that's really nice too. Also, I use another um, another extension that I love. Um, it's called Download Status Bar. Download Status Bar is awesome because basically what it does is it adds um, when you download something to the bottom of Firefox, a little bar right at the bottom, and it will tell you. And it's basically like manages the downloads right in the little download bar, so you can keep an eye on it with ease, and you can cl easily you know re uh, clear this, the list and whatnot. It's very very nice. It's simple and works. Uh, another one I like is called Download Helper. Download Helper is nice if you ever want to download like a YouTube video um, or something. This thing does it. It's awesome. I love it. So I mean, just downloads videos from websites and it does a great job at downloading um, flash files and whatnot, like from YouTube. Um, so I like that as well. Another one I like is called Forecast Fox. Forecast Fox. I know like almost everyone uses Forecast Fox. Forecast Fox is essentially um, a little weather um, bug that sits on the bottom of your browser in the status bar of Firefox and it just reports the weather to you in your local area. You set it up, there you go, good. You always know the weather. I mean, everyone talks about the weather anyway. When there's nothing to talk about, you just go, so how's the weather over there? How's the weather, how's the weather over there, sword? Any good? Yeah, I mean, that's what you do. So you know the weather all the time. I always like to know that. If I'm going to walk outside in the morning, I just check Firefox, boom, I have the weather. So I like that a lot. Sword says it's hot, by the way, it's hot. If he had forecast fox, he would know the exact temperature, but I don't know if he has that. Anyway, another one I use is called Glasser, and this was recommended to me by one of my fellow uh, chatters up in uh, Best Techie, the chat room. And uh, it's called Glasser. It's uh, recommended to me by Condolo. He's in the chat right now. And uh, it's an awesome little plugin. What it does is, it's for Vista and Firefox, and essentially, what it does is, on, on version 3 of Firefox, it, it just takes the current skin of the fire it's an extension not a theme it takes the skin and it just glasses it it makes it like see-through and awesome it's really cool looking i like i love this thing and i'm all for good looks not that i have any but this thing's awesome it totally makes firefox look so much better so that's a cool little extension uh i believe it's only for vista i'm not sure i i'm almost positive it is though it might work on xp but i don't know why you do that um another one i like this one's a little nice, um, a nice little tool for an extension called Fire Fire Sizer. Fire Sizer is nice for um, web developers because what it does is it basically will resize the browser to the to different resolutions, so you can see what your web page looks at look like looks like in different resolutions, which is pretty nice. That's all it does. It's really nice. Uh, another one I like is called um, where is it? It's called AdSense Notifier. Now, as you know, I use AdSense on my website and, um, you know, generate some money. So, 
I like to know how much money I make every day or every so often. You know, it's always nice to know how much money you make. Money is a good thing, right? Right? Right. So, this thing sits in your status bar as well, and it, and it tells you how many impressions you get, how many, how much money you've made today, and so on and so forth. It's actually pretty neat. I like to look at it because it makes me feel good inside when I know I made some money. Um, also, there's another one I use called Down Them All. Down Them All I don't use too often, but I do have it installed. It allows me to download. It's like a, it's like a, it's a download manager, and you can download multiple things, and it, it pulls it usually pretty much fa a lot faster than typical regular downloading. Um, it's not the best if you're if you're trying to you know you're downloading something because you want to give the server a break you know it, it basically pulls it from different it, it's it's pretty neat it pulls it down pretty fast but and I don't I don't recommend you do it to like all the time because the web the server admin's gonna be pissed if you download huge files like that um, that's basically it. I mean I use other ones such as Gmail Space but I don't really use that I have it installed PDF download I don't really use Ramback I should talk about actually. Ramback is neat because what it does is is it clears the internal Firefox caches. So that way, what happens is after a while, it works on. By the way, it only works on Firefox three. Uh, after a while, Firefox if it, if you leave it open, which I've actually I've noticed with Firefox three, it actually does a pretty good job managing memory. But if you leave it open for a long time, as with any program, it it picks up a lot of memory. So what this does, Ramback, it pulls the internal cache and wipes it. That way, it it lowers the amount of memory that Firefox is using at the time. So it helps speed it up. So, I mean, it's nice. So, I mean, that's basically it. That's what I use in my Firefox. Um, what do you guys use? I'm curious to know. Leave a comment on the blog post or in YouTube or wherever else you're watching this video because like, God knows where I upload this to or it ends up on the web. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been live.bestdaker.com. You can come by, say hi to me in the chat room. I'm always there. Even if I'm not streaming, I'm usually in the chat room, so come by and say hi. Uh, or you can say hi and ask your question in the chat. You know, I might be sleeping. I sleep sometimes. You know, believe it or not, I do sleep. And by the way, you can also check out the forums at best taken out slash forums. By the way, I said that like five times already. We all we have just redesigned the best taken out at forum, so check it out. They're really nice looking. They match the rest of the site. It's awesome. Just love it. Thanks to Bayless for helping me out with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.